No mistakes, there is just a even plan, so don't you worry, Ja hasn't forgot your time. Ja's are created, so you buy more useless goods now. Here's the faith, Ja will provide the needs. You're in the desert, far from the waters from on high. You're in the forest, you could ask the sun to shine. Shall there be a strive for you? You've known that time, not a lot will see you through. This is the time when the miracles begin. This is the time when the positive win. Dance in the spirit, dance in the body, yeah. Greetings and welcome to another episode of the Planetary Persuader. I'm your host Cosmic Kev and we're talking about the week from September 9th through the 16th of September 2011 and what we got going on this week. Well we're starting out uh, with the moon in Aquarius. If you're a Friday viewer, now if you're a, a Saturday viewer, we know that moon moves over into Pisces. So. That happens at about a little after 2.30 Pacific Daylight Time. What I can say about this is that we get deeper into the emotions. The other thing is, of course, with a Pisces moon, that means that we're headed towards a full moon, which actually happens on the 12th. And they consider that the harvest moon because it's the closest moon to the autumnal equinox. Although it's still in summer, so some people are going to say the real harvest moon, especially for us NorCal people, us Northern Californians, our harvest moon is probably more like the 11th of October, so. But anyhow, with that in mind, you know, hopefully people are having good harvest to whatever they're doing. And um, we've got ourselves Venus and Sun and Mercury all in Virgo right now. And so. Virgo is a sign of the servant, it's a sign of the virgin, it's also the sign of the wilderness. And it's the sign of the prostitute and, it, and the sex worker. And it's the sign of the virgin as well, the person untouched. Um, how could all these things be inclusive? I think it's all about an awareness, you know. Uh, people need to be served. And, and uh, you know, there's not always somebody available for everybody when they want to be. And so, you know, as immoral or amoral as people may look at it, there, there's a reality. You know, you know, the oldest profession in the world. Virgo, though, also, let me put it this way. First sign in the zodiac in Judeo-Christian astrology. Why? Because of um, Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah. You know, Rosh Hashanah is... It's Jewish New Year. Now, so, you know, you would, I imagine that um, Rosh Hashanah that doesn't really begin for a couple of weeks, so it's kind of going along more with the second harvest moon, what we'll call it, you know, it's, it's getting closer to that. It's after, this year it's after the, um, the autumnal equinox, so it's in Libra, but normally it's in Virgo. And um, Virgo, and you know, and so at least it's in Vedic Virgo in Indian astrology, and Virgo is a servant. And, you know, when you're giving service, you know, the philosophy is, in Judeo-Christian theory, is if you want to be great in God's kingdom, or a king or queen, you've got to be a servant to all. So this is a starting point, is how we give service to other people. And uh, we're going to explore that in this next episode of The Planetary Persuader. <laughs>